today we're going to be dyeing white curtains and white microfiber towels to yellow using turmeric so we're going to be doing this the natural the natural way we're going to see if this is going to work this is an experiment for me so first you are going to wet your material because you want it to absorb the color and i had to wet this curtain about three or four times because it was huge and every time i opened it it was like a spot that was not wet so wet your materials like soaked and then wring them out so i actually did this previously like boiling the water and adding the turmeric before and then I forgot to record it so I'm adding some more turmeric in it because it's not as yellow as I want it but um, once you add your turmeric you mix it up and you just make sure all the powder is gone so that it won't get stuck on the fabric in powder form you want it to be liquid so you won't have any spots that are like thick and just full of powder and so I kept my stove on high and I had this going for about five or six minutes before I actually put any of the materials inside the water. Now we're going to put the curtain inside the hot water and just make sure that we cover all the white spots in this curtain. You're going to take your utensil, fork, spoon, whatever you're using and just push it down in the water. Do not use your fingers because um, obviously it's hot and you'll get burned. And um, make sure you're wearing like an old shirt that you don't care if it gets stained because turmeric does stain your, your clothes clearly. <laughs> Doesn't matter what color it is, it'll get stained. So you want to push it all the way down, stir it around, mix it because you want to cover all the spots in this curtain. You want to make sure your material is like completely covered because you don't want to have like yellow spotted curtains with white and it's just not going to be good. So just stir, stir, stir and move that material around inside the pot so that you can catch all those spots that are crumbled because you couldn't open it out and put it in there. So I'm stirring and kind of like pushing and you know making sure each spot is covered in this curtain and I'm doing this for about 10 minutes. You don't have to stand here, you can literally just leave it in the pot but I wanted to make sure I watched it for 10 minutes and I kept playing with it. Now it's time to rinse. So now I have my cold water running and I'm just taking my curtain out of the hot water solution and I'm going to run this cold water on my um, curtain for about two or three minutes before I start to like really open it out and get the curtain open so I can see what it actually looks like if there's any spots I need to rinse off or if there's any spots that I missed this is the time that I'm going to use to redip or to rinse if, I, if there's heavy powder from the turmeric still left on the curtain. Now it's time to really rinse the curtain and open it out so you can see if there's any spots you missed or if there's any blocks of turmeric powder that didn't get mixed out in the mixing process. And this is the time for you to really get in there and rinse it so that that water that is yellow will turn clear. And that's how you know you rinsed all the turmeric out. Now we're gonna jump right into dyeing the microfiber towels. I actually got these from Dollar Tree and I want to use them as kitchen towels to go along with my yellow curtains that I'm actually going to put in the living room. So you can never have enough yellow. Just like that to brighten your house up with that yellow. Now you're going to soak this towelette so that it can soak up all the turmeric and all the color and just be as bright or as dark as you want it. I'm still rinsing my curtain because the water was still yellow so I'm just gonna leave the water on and let it kind of run so it runs clear and I'm also gonna do my towels at the same time I bought six and I'm gonna put four in the pot because they're kind of small and they just take up little room and just like I did before with the curtain I'm gonna 
put my towel in and try to push it all the way in and use my fork and continue to stir it and move it around so each part of the towel is covered. I actually put my pot back on the stove and turned it back on five so that the water can be steaming hot. I don't know if this makes a difference if the water's completely, completely hot or if you can just still color it when the water's not hot, but I prefer for the water to be steaming as if I'm cooking like the towels so that the color can be as bright as possible. And for some reason it just got brighter as I put it on the stove. So after about 10 minutes of kind of boiling it and mixing and stirring, now it is time to rinse. Again, like before with the curtains, we're going to keep that cold water running and then we're just going to place them in the sink and let the cold water do its thing and run right through them. Now I am just going to fill this pot back up with water and I'm going to add some more turmeric because I have some more things to dye and put it back on the stove. And how amazing this yellow is it's so bright and vibrant and I am in love I am just rinsing it out so that the yellow is the yellow water is gone and I'm waiting I'm just gonna keep doing this until it runs clear I'm also dyeing these white plain curtains just in case I don't want to put up the other ones. So this one I'm just wetting down, completely soaking it so I can do the same process I did with the curtain before and just getting it super soaked so it can absorb that turmeric in the water. I've gotten a bigger pot and I've done the same process of making the hot water and mixing the turmeric and I've had this on the stove for about 15 minutes so I'm hoping that the turmeric has all dissolved and I'm gonna do ombre curtains so I'm gonna leave some of the white on the curtain out of the pot and I'm just gonna do what I did before and push the fabric down and make sure that each part of the fabric is completely colored and I'm going to leave some of that white out of the pot so that it can give that ombre effect. I've had my pot of water on the stove with the curtain for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to rinse. As you can see the ombre effect is here and it is amazing and I'm super excited about it so I'm taking it out of the pot and I'm going to just keep it in the sink and I forgot to turn my water on but I'm I want to pull all the fabric out first because this is a huge pot that takes over the whole entire sink so it's better to just take your fabric out first and then run the water now we're gonna rinse this curtain and see what it looks like so right now I'm just opening the curtain out and I'm from the creases and the folds because as you can see the water is still kind of dark yellow so that means that there's still turmeric powder somewhere in there and this fabric is actually cotton. The curtain I did before was silk so the turmeric powder if there's any in there it won't just slide off the fabric. You have to open it out and use your fingers if you see any thick spots and just kind of like rub it out because it's going to stain the curtain and stay there because it is cotton. The ombre effect looks amazing already and it hasn't even been dried. So I know like in the store it would be like 30 bucks. So I'm so happy I did this myself. <laughs> way, way less expensive. I actually went like crazy with dyeing this stuff. So I actually found some old white like dingy stuff that I don't wear anymore. And I wanted to just continue like doing this process because it was really fun. <laughs> and Things like an old white bathing suit turned into this really beautiful mustard yellow and it just looks like I bought it from the store like that which is going to be amazing when I put this on. I have a jeans jacket in there and that came out amazing. Look at this color. Like it's, it's mustard that's crazy and it's because the fabric is cotton and silk so I don't know if that makes a huge difference but this bathing suit is like everything right now. I 
final step is to re-rinse your dyed fabric. So you're going to fill your water in, the, in your washer on hot. You're going to just drop your fabric into the washer, let it run through the whole entire cycle, deep rinse it, and then put it in the dryer and allow them to dry and then they're ready to be used. The ombre curtains were a huge fail. When I took them out of the washer, the white actually mixed with the yellow and it made like this weird dingy kind of color. So I had to redo them and make them one entire shade. Thank God the turmeric covered like the dinginess of it and made it a nice solid shade of yellow.